Hello, this is Nadine Hamwell on the Beatrix Potter Trail. As we know, Beatrix was wonderful at writing letters to little children. And I'd like to read one to you now that she wrote to Louis Warren, Harold Warren's, her publisher, Little Girl. My dear little Louis, I was so pleased with your letter. You are a grand scholar. I must be very careful with my spelling when I write to you. I've got two lovely little pics. One is a little bigger than the other. She's very fat and black, with a very turned up nose and the fattest cheeks. She likes being tickled under the chin. She's a very friendly pig. I call her Aunt Susan. I call the smaller pig Dorcas. She's not so tame. She runs round and round the pigsty, and if I catch her by the ear, she squeals. But Aunt Susan is so tame, I have to kick her when she wants to nibble my galoshes. They've both got rings in their noses to prevent them from digging holes in the field. But at present they are shut up in their little house because the field is so wet. It rains every day. Whatever shall we do for hay? There is a little bit cut and it is sopping wet. When I lie in bed I can see a hill of green grass opposite the window about as high as Primrose Hill. And when the sheep walk across there is a crooked pane of glass that makes them like this. And the hens are all wrong too. It's a very funny house. It will be a beautiful house for playing hide and seek. I think there are 13 wall cupboards. Some of them are quite big rooms, quite dark. There are six cows. They've got funny names. The best cow is called Kitchen. I watched her being milked tonight. Such a big bucket full. There's another cow called White Stockings because she has white legs. And another called Garnet and calves called Rose and Nora and Blossom. I remain yours affectionately. Beatrix Potter. Bye-bye from the Lake District.